Hello, movie lovers, and welcome to the show. So today I am going to be reviewing this little short film called Likeness. Likeness actually has a lot of buzz going around right now as far as the Holly Shorts Film Festival goes. This got sent in to me by director uh, David A. Flores. As a matter of fact, David A. Flores wrote and directed this film. It clocks in at 14 minutes long, but within those 14 minutes, you get a lot of details. But the plot goes like this. A young woman works with a digital copy of her mom to investigate the sudden disappearance of her real mom. And also, too, I want to point this out, Mary Rose Benek as Caitlin, who plays the daughter. Then you also have Virginia Newcomb as Fiona. And I just want to say this. I thought that the chemistry between Mary and also Virginia was really good, especially whenever you look at the fact that she's using AI to find out what's going on with her mom and trying to figure out why is she missing, what's going on here. And I like the idea of the fact that this AI is not like a robotic AI. It's actually a carbon copy of her mom because she uploaded pictures, videos, everything that you can find on social media. She uploaded it through this system and called Resume. And basically, it ended up generating a video likeness of her mother. And she's talking to her back and forth. And I like how it goes back and forth where Caitlin is actually forgetting the fact that this is actually an AI and not her mother. And I think that we as an audience would actually do the same thing where we're thinking that we're talking to our mother or our loved one or whatever, but we're forgetting the fact that this is an AI. It doesn't feel any emotion. It doesn't feel anything. And also, too, I wouldn't be surprised if, like, later on in the future, this is where we are with AI, where basically you get the cops trying to investigate um, a missing person, and they use AI in this kind of way. And I like how Caitlin asked um, Fiona, this, which is also the AI, I like how she goes, well, um, what was, you know, uh, what what about, what was like the last thing that you did? And it ended up giving her a video play of what she did before the disappearance. Then she said, well, what about the addresses? Where were you at? And all this. And, the, and basically what Fiona says, AKA, AKA the AI says, is this, she's like, look, I can't give you any kind of information like that because of the ongoing investigation. So therefore, I'm not allowed to give you that kind of information. And so it goes into this whole entire deal where she's going into the social media, where Caitlin's going into the social media and stuff like that. And she's trying to figure out this disappearance. And then all of a sudden she sees this little key thing where basically it's someone's screen name and she winds up searching it. And then she pulls up the address. And I just have to say, this was definitely one of those things that will shock you whenever you find out what's going on when she goes to the address and things like that. I'm not going to spoiler territory here or anything, but it does not, it's not a good sign when you go in by yourself with no backup or anything and you wind up tracking the GPS or where, um, this tra basically tracking this, this, um, screen name to this address and you're going in alone. But you're in desperate need because the cops are not really doing anything much or anything. So you take it upon yourself to try and do something. And this so happens to be, she winds up getting this AI. And so then after this, she goes back over to the AI generated of Fiona. And I like how at first, you know, at the beginning I said, at, um, where basically she's like, look, you're not my mother. You're just a carbon copy of what she is. You're not really who she is. Or anything like that. You're no one. And then she goes into the fact that, you know, now she's in this desperate need of just wanting to talk to her mother, especially the events that she uncovered at the place that she was at. And the AI is gone, basically, in her eyes. And now she's looking to the AI for comfort and wants to say things that she never got to say to her mother or anything face to face. And, you know, it just was one of those things that I felt like that was a real tearjerker in a sense, because of the fact that you're dealing with AI, you're dealing with someone or something that doesn't feel any kind of emotion, but you're there trying to get through a certain situation. And you know what? That's also very relatable because of the fact that now AI has a way of actually contacting people that have passed away. And some people are using that as a way of comfort. And, you know, that's something that might be happening within the future itself, where you actually get an AI generated person that was close to you. And therefore you can have a conversation with them and tell them the things that you've been wanting to say, but you weren't able to say. But at the same time though, I think that 
the whole concept of the AI working with uh, with Caitlin is actually a pretty cool concept. Uh, yes, it does have a little bit of a Black Mirror kind of vibe to it. That's something that I really have to say that I really enjoyed about it because I love Black Mirror. And the fact that, you know, they're using all these key things to find Caitlin's mother. And I feel like as as a film, this is a film that will inspire the police, like I said, to use AI to track down someone that is missing. And yeah, I think this is actually a pretty good movie. It's clocks in at 14 minutes. Does I just have to say this. I thought the music itself was really good. The mixing was really good for it. Um, you actually feel the pain. You actually feel the emotion of the character of Caitlin trying to search for her mother. The, and then, of course, the AI is also trying to um, basically just trying to consult her. Hey, look, uh, is there anything else that you need me to find for you and things like that? Because she has no emotion or anything. And I think it's hard for an actress to play something with no emotion behind it because of the fact that you have to be dialed in to at least feel something whenever a character is breaking down, crying and things like that. But the fact that, you know, with this character, with this AI version of Fiona played by Virginia, and she's basically just being a robot, like an AI robot. This is actually a, but she does a fantastic job of playing this AI. So yeah, I definitely recommend that you guys go on ahead, check this out when it drops on the 26th on the Ome Milito, uh YouTube channel. And I'll actually provide that link in the description below. I hope that you guys have a great and safe night. And I hope that you enjoy this review of likeness. And always until next time, guys, it's been real. It's been fun. I can't wait to do this again. And thank you so much for sending this in, David. I really enjoy this film. It really makes you think. And uh, congratulations to all the success that you have for this film.